Data stewardship roles can be segmented and categorized in multiple ways, depending on their responsibilities and required skills, as well as the organization's structure, industry goals, and objectives of its data management needs. There's also an argument to be made that everyone is a data steward, but for the scope of this video, I would like to argue that there are five different types of data stewards that an organization might have that you should learn and know about. If you're new to the Lights on Data channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Today's topic is about the five types of data stewards. Please stay until the end as I will also mention which types of data steward are the ones that you should always have and why. The first type of data steward is the domain data steward. It's also called the data object data steward or subject area data steward. So this role manages reference data, master data and attributes of one business data domain. For example, you might have something that's called customer data steward. It could also be a business analyst or even a manager role that they get these responsibilities assigned. So here are some key characteristics and considerations for this domain data steward. It's really the most common type of data stewardship, yet it's often most difficult to implement, especially in decentralized organizations. Here are some examples of reference data and attributes that are managed by this data steward. You know, company hierarchy, the address industry codes, contact information, finance data, and so on. This role requires strong executive sponsorship and it needs to reach across functional lines and also needs to be part of a cross-departmental team of subject matter experts. This is all lovely, but make sure that they have the interpersonal skills for it. They can be like a honey badger. I love honey badgers, by the way. They are badass, but they're also considered a solitary animal as they spend a majority of their lives without others of their species. Our data steward can be like that. They need to interact a lot with others. And to be honest, this is the rule for data stewards in general. Please click the like button if you agree. Second type of data steward is the functional data steward. You might also know these as the business data steward. And as you're hearing that, you might be wondering, hold on, I've heard of business data stewards, not as much as domain data stewards. But you're saying, George, that domain data stewards are the most common types of data stewards? How come? What gives? I'll get to that towards the end, I promise. I'll clarify all of that. So what does this functional data steward do since we're on that topic? Well, they manage the critical data, both reference and master and transactional data that's created or used by one business function. You may also know them as, you know, the sales data steward, the marketing data steward. And again, they could also be a business or a data analyst. Some key characteristics and considerations, here they are. They are a key representative in a specific business area that is responsible for the quality, the use, and the meaning of that data in the organization. They're also assisting the data governance program and defining all of this plus procedures, policies, requirements, and so on. It definitely gets challenging where the data is shared between several business units. And this is where an enterprise level data governance program jumps in to help. Third type of data steward is the process data steward. They really just manage all that data across one business process. As an example of somebody that would fit that role would be a lean specialist. So often this person is part of the process improvement team. They work across multiple data domains, as you might imagine, as the process would cover multiple data domains. And because of that, they need strong cross-process governance in order to be successful. The good thing is that they also interact regularly with the functional data stewards and the domain data stewards. The fourth type is the technical data steward. It's also called a system data steward. What do they do? Well, they manage the data for one or more IT systems. Who would fit that role? Or somebody like an enterprise data warehouse architect, an MDM practitioner, or a data modeler. This is the person to go to and ask how the data is created, transformed, stored, and moved in technical systems and between them. They work closely with the domain and functional data stewards, as well as the data custodians to 
populated data dictionary, maybe the business glossary, even if it sold some of that technical metadata and the data catalog, because again, all of these have some technical metadata details that need to be recorded. And on top of that, they collaborate with the data custodians to implement data governance decisions in data. Okay, what about the last one? What about the fifth type of data steward? Before that, remember how you're wondering how you've heard of business stewards, but not so much as domain data stewards? Even though I said that the domain data stewards are the most common types of data stewards, let me clarify that now on why that is. Now, out of these four types of data stewards that we've covered so far, most often you will encounter and hear about these two, the business data steward and the technical data steward. So what about the domain data steward that I mentioned? No, that's the one that you encounter the most. The reality is, is that often the domain data steward and the functional data steward are combined and they're just referred to as the business data steward. Why? Because successful data governance programs focus on data domains rather than, you know, a business area, a system, an application, or a functional area, a department, whatever you want to call it. So the organization selects a set of domains, such as customer, product, location, finance, legal, so forth and so on, and have the business and technical data stewards assigned to each one of these domains. And these business and technical data stewards are from different areas of the organization, representing different departments and different systems to bring in all that knowledge, all those insights to each selected data domain. I hope that's clear now, or at least a bit more clear. So now we can talk about the last type of a data steward, and that's the lead business data steward, or simply called lead data steward. They basically lead and oversee a data domain stewardship group. They lead that entire team of data stewards for a particular data domain. They act as the conductor of that specific domain. They're the face of data stewardship. They provide a leadership, direction, management, change, advocacy for data as well as its metadata. Okay, that's everything. Those are the five types of data stewards. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it and learn from it and subscribe if you haven't already. And please check out the video description for details on where you can find more useful and fun content about data management and data governance. Thank you.